We are keeping you and your pets safe and sound this morning as families gear up for a 4th of July filled with fireworks, like it or not. Wake Up Central's Michaela Johnson joins us now with what pet owners should know ahead of these loud celebrations. Michaela? Good morning, Karen. 4th of July is what a lot of us focus on during this month. Many already know what fireworks shows they'll be watching later today, but shelters everywhere are bracing for July 5th. It's their busiest day of the year because fireworks and pets don't always mix. July 5th is historically the largest intake date for animal shelters across the country every year. The crackles and pops from July 4th are meant to be celebratory, but the day after is typically the complete opposite for shelters and pet owners. There are fireworks going off everywhere and pets get spooked and they get loose. Betsy Robb with Friends of the Animal Village says no one chooses to lose a pet, but it happens thousands of times a year. <laughs> to save the heartache of losing and having to find your animal, there are things you can do in advance, like making sure your pet has a collar and tags with your current info. But if you don't have tags, you can get creative. Let's take a Sharpie and write your phone number on their collar. If they have a print or something and you're not going to be able to read it, wrap duct tape around the collar, but then write your number on there. Next, make sure your pet is microchipped and that it's registered and take photos. Because once they go missing, you're not going to want to have to spend an hour trying to go back and find pictures of your pet. Finally, a big saving grace is bringing and keeping your pets indoors before the fireworks go off. Don't take your dogs to a fireworks show. Leave them at home where they're safe and sound with the radio on. And also do not have your dogs off leash other than in a fenced in yard around July 4th. That's just a recipe for disaster. But if disaster does strike, Rob says do three things. Go to Arkansas Lost and Found Pet Network and nextdoor.com and post them as missing in both places. That's where those pictures will come in handy. And then visit your local animal shelter as soon as possible. Before it comes to that and before the fireworks, she says take the steps to save you some grief. And grief is exactly what owners would feel. I didn't realize mm -hmm. it was the largest intake McKinley mm -hmm. day. What happens if by chance you find a pet? Yes, absolutely. So not everyone eaten. is going to lose one. Mm -hmm. But if you do find a pet that's walking around, you take them to a vet so they can check their microchip. Mm -hmm. And that's an easy way to find their owner that way. Sure. Or then go to those websites like um, go to nextdoor.com and then you post yes. that you found a pet, not that you lost one. And then that's hopefully a way that they can find Reunite the owner. Reunite them. Mm -hmm. I, I actually had a cat reunited that way. Oh. I lost them on a travel trip and went on Facebook before you know it. There Some you go. Heroines from Kansas City brought Dorian home. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Michaela. We appreciate it.